Donald Trump is the medicine that America does not want, but America needs. You know, 50 dead bodies in a gay nightclub in Orlando. It's not, it's not a lot. We still have, uh, it's not a lot compared to the millions of Americans that still, still live in this country. When two towers fall on September 11th, you know, real estate is lost and How many thousands died? How many hundreds? I think a couple thousand, but hundreds, how many hundreds of Americans died there? There's still a lot of a lot of Americans left. So from the pers perspective of scale compared to how many Americans there are, it's a little bit right as far as numbers. These, de these deaths were in no way justified. Why? Because they were infidels, non-believers of the Prophet Muhammad. Because they were homosexual. So I think we could... Uh, Somehow agree that not every Muslim is a terrorist, but lately every terrorist has been a Muslim. And uh, when Donald Trump points out that this is an obvious threat, to um, to Americans who are, even though they were just partying and doing their own thing. And of course, partying is not a necessity, it's just a, an activity, but it's the right. Um, no one should be gunned down for doing that. And addressing it does not make you a racist if, um, just because it's not Christian or not the majority of uh, people that are, uh, it's not a, as popular as Christians or as big as Christianity. And yes, a lot of people who are, a lot of honorable Muslims who simply just want to live uh, peacefully amongst us will be caught up in the net of uh, confusion here, but then again, it has been Muslims that have tolerated such uh, radical behavior by not uh, disassociating, disassociating themselves with countries or cultures or people who um, believe that punishment of uh, homosexuals by death is okay. I'm trying to think um, what to use for uh, one of my shirts I'm going to sell. Um, sale for all people except um, Muslim countries who do business with any country except let's say Iran or Syria I need to look into that specifically I know that some, in some Muslim countries, homosexuals get um, pushed off a building, get hanged, executed. Women, it's a crime for some women to uh, learn how to drive or to drive cars or to show skin. And to me, I'm just not a, not a fan of that.
with the um, then with Trump being aggressive on his uh, illegal Muslim um, wanting to stop this with, by building a wall well how do I talk about this without dropping the dime on what goes on along the American and Mexican border which I think many people just are very distracted by keeping up with the Kardashians watching American Idol going to some stupid show that uh, those guys uh, those organizations that um, this group of people that um, make a living off that I don't know what happens along the border man that thing is uh, it is the wild west and just just being from LA going around different cities, neighborhoods you know there's stuff you don't speak about but I know that there are many uh, many outlaws out there that I've spoken with them have dinner with them, have broken bread with them and done business with them I know a lot of these guys simply want to, um, if they could go out, there's a movie called The Cartel Land, it's a documentary. I believe one of the journalists or guys making the movie said, asked the dude, um, you know, why do you guys do this? This is towards the end of the movie. And he says, uh, you know, we would like to do what you're doing. You know, we all just want to live a peaceful life but here there's nothing and of course that is no excuse to um, you know go ahead and become a uh, fucking crazy ass criminal you know, we all have choices right so I know that these dudes really just want to um, they, they would like to make an honest buck that uh, provides a comfortable living and of course you could go into things like say things like uh, you, know, you, you blame the Catholic Church uh, superstitious behavior that uh, says, you know, just have kids, pop them out, you know, let it, let uh, God take care of it. But then the cost of diapers, the cost of formula, the cost of uh, food, rent, second, two, three mouths to feed. You know, that shit uh, adds up. And no prayer, nor um, positive thinking will simply um, remedy the, that situation. Again, you could blame the Catholic Church or just poor parenting or you know, government programs not addressing this, being condoms being taboo by the Vatican. That um puts these people in a state of uh, poverty and uh, when they get hungry and when they're tired of starving they're gonna find uh, a way to um, make a living even if it's not honorable 
or sometimes people just uh, get caught up in the um, what they see on music videos. was a wall built there it wouldn't stop crime it wouldn't it wouldn't stop the underworld but it make it more it would slow it down at least at least slow it down There's just a lot of uh, a lot of things that could be improved definitely in America, and simply raising taxes and uh, not firing people, the lazy people in our government that simply collect a paycheck, punch in for attendance, and just not care. Well, those dudes are just uh, man. I do my best not to um, let it um, take away my momentum or or distract me. But it, it's a reality that uh, I believe it or not, I think it affects all of us, even just a little bit, just a little bit, but it affects, it affects us all. Seems uh, kind of productive to choose a Trump over Hillary, but man, we've been kicking down this can down the road for so long. America is $21 trillion in debt. $21 trillion. $21. Let's say you had a credit card for $21 trillion in debt, right? And instead of cutting back on your spending, you're like, you know what, let me just get another credit card to pay off that, that credit card's interest. That's sort of what America wants to do. By uh, not uh, addressing that there are people that are just um, growing our debt. Simple as just uh, pointing it, pointing it out, talking about it. At least we could discuss it. That'll be a good starting point there. Facebook. 